This is the collection tower of the Naturalis Biodiversity Center. It is the place where our national natural history heritage is kept. The Naturalis collection contains no fewer than 37 million zoological, botanical and geological objects and is therefore one of the five largest collections of the world. Naturalis is currently digitizing a part of this enormous collection. Access will be offered in this way to the safely stored objects for today's and tomorrow's scientists. Seven million objects must be accessible digitally by 2015 for everyone everywhere in the world at any time. The questions of the hour are of course, how do you digitize seven million objects and what can we do with it? We will take a look at the digitizing of the insect collection that is also called the entomological collection to answer these questions. This is the place where it is done, the entomology digitizing system site. Naturalis has a total of 10 of this type of digitizing system sites. Every type of object, after all, requires its own way of digitizing. Currently, 850,000 insects are entering the digital era here at the Entomology Digitizing System site. This is only part of the overall entomological collection. Naturalis has no fewer than 17 million insects overall. The choice has been made to only digitize those parts of the insect collection that are of most importance to science. These are the ones. Digitizing insects is precision work. First, they must be taken out of the collection. A number of small labels can be found under every insect. The scientific name, where and when the insect was found and who found it are specified on these labels. All of this information is entered into a database developed by Naturalis by specially training digitizing employees, the collection registration system. The entered information will next be linked to a unique number that is shown on a label with a barcode. The drawer where the insects are kept is also provided with such a barcode. This ensures that insects can be easily linked to the drawer. When all insects have been entered into the database, the full drawer will be photographed in high resolution. Digitizing this insect drawer is now nearly complete. The cupboard where the drawer can be found is also provided with a barcode. This ensures that the information of every insect is linked to the place where it is found in the collection tower. It is now much easier for the Naturalis' collection administrators and scientists to find objects in the collection. With one push of the button, they can now see whether a species is in the collection how many there are and where they can be exactly found in the collection tower. The natural history world is entering a new era with the large-scale digitizing of the collection, an era in which work can take place faster and more accurately, in which collections are linked to each other on a global scale, and the dissemination of knowledge about biodiversity is growing and growing, an era in which more than ever new application options are being created that, until recently, could only be imagined. Naturalis's researchers are currently, for example, already experimenting with bumblebees and other bees by scanning their wings with a camera on a smartphone. The potential for this type of application is huge. A farmer or owner of an orchard could, for example, later see in no time at all which bee species has produced his harvest. The quicker he finds out, the faster he can adjust his management. These types of applications are impossible without digitizing. Day in and day out, around 70 assistants work on digitizing our national natural history heritage. It is a huge task that will take quite some more years. It is, however, also a process that will later become a permanent part of our collection administrator's day-to-day -day work. We will continue to work on a better dissemination of knowledge about the diversity of life. Naturalis will, therefore, continue to be the place where scientists work together to ensure that nature is constantly better understood.